Hey guys, what's going on? Um, I thought it was time that I um, resurfaced and uh, made a, a, my next video to tell you all where I'm up to. Uh, God, I'd just like to start first of all by saying a massive heartfelt thank you to um, people who have messaged me on my last video. Um, I got a lot out of that and it was it touched me. It was nice and I appreciate that. Thank you. Um, so that last video was around about four weeks ago, um, and I just before I started making this video, I just watched the end of it to see kind of where I left off, and it was interesting because I turned around and I said it was kind of a where I was then was um, it could have gone one of two ways, which was to knuckle down and get some sobriety under my belt or um, uh, carry on drinking and go down a fall down a massive rabbit hole um, of relapse. Um, so here we are, four weeks later, and I'm somewhere in between both of those options. Um, I after that video, I did a couple of days on, maybe a day on, a couple of days off for your drink, and then a, a day on. Um, I think I went three, four days, a couple, uh, three, three or four days on a couple of occasions where I didn't touch it. Um, up until now, where I've probably drank every evening for the last maybe six, seven days now, um, or I have been. I'm actually, um, I'm about for what am I twenty four thirty? About thirty six hours sober right now. Um, so I've not scripted this on it, it's just going to come out raw as it normally does. Um, the the thing that I, I didn't expect was if I did relapse after such a long period of sobriety. I didn't expect it to be so subtle. Um, I thought it would be sort of life changing, end of the world stuff. And it doesn't start like that. And I didn't really expect that, I must admit. Um, so where I'm going with that was, I'm, I'm not I'm not making out that you think once you've had a drink you realise it, oh, it, it actually wasn't that bad, maybe I can drink again or I, I can moderate this time, I know what I'm doing. It's not that, you do, those feelings are there 100% but that, that's not what I'm talking about. Um, it's just something, you, or for me, I could do and I could pick it up again quite easily. It wasn't drinking alcohol, is it? Oh, I can't. It wasn't drinking like an alcoholic, waking up first thing in the morning. It was just back to having a, a couple of drinks on an evening. Um, and it made it, it was quite manageable. Now the problem with that is, I always knew that you, if you carry on doing that, then you're going to end up right back where you started. I get that. But the problem I, I suffer and suffering from right now is because it's not dramatic, it makes it quite hard to get a grip of it again because it doesn't seem that bad. I hope that makes sense. Obviously, if, if I'd have drank and it would have been horrendous and I was drinking 24 7, you know, then it's like, yeah, I've got to get back off this, and you just put all your time and effort into doing that. Whereas what I found this time round is, yeah, I need to. Um, I need to stop this. I don't want to get. I don't want to start this. I don't want this to get worse like it did last time. But it's not that bad, or it hasn't been that bad. So I'm not by no means bigging it up. I'm just trying to make the point of how it's not that dramatic in the beginning, um, which for me makes it a little bit, or it has made it a little bit harder to get back on the wagon. So anyway, um. I've I've been sort of trying. I've been sort of playing around with it for the last couple of weeks. I'm in a night off, and then I'll I'll drink. As I say, the volumes I've been drinking are not huge, but they're um, they're still probably more than your average person. I would say, you know, the capacity is still there if I wanted it to be. And on a couple of occasions, on two occasions that I can remember, I I went for it. It was like a fuck it, and it was ridiculous, and I suffered the next day. Um, and I didn't drink for a couple of days after both those occasions. But it just goes to show that the the pure alcoholism within me, it, alcoholic, with, that is still there if I wanted it to be. 
that doesn't sound right. It's always there. But what I'm saying is I, it, I could have really, it was easy for me to really go for it and then do it again. And if I wanted to do it again after that. <sighs> so, as I say, that was, that's been a four week gap since the last one. The problem I have is I've got so much shit going on in my life and none of this is excuses. Um, it's probably gonna come across like excuses, but it's not. But I've tried to improve my life now for the last 18 months and, and I've made some seriously massive changes. Some of the things, in hindsight, I did too early. Um, I should have had other things in place and I, I don't wanna go into all the detail of it because it's not fair. Um, but I, I, I do have a few regrets on things I didn't put in place before I, made, I did certain actions, which has now caused me, um, well, it's caused it to be quite a bit of a roller coaster these last six, seven months. Um, so yeah, I guess it's that saying, if you look for excuses, you'll find them. That's not what I'm trying to say. I'm just saying, um, <laughs> I can, no, it's wrong. I was going to say I can justify why I've, my actions, um, but I can't, can I? No, that's wrong. That is absolutely wrong. We know we can't drink at the end of the day, and no matter what caused me to drink, I shouldn't have drunk. So, yeah. Um, I had a very cringy experience where I, how can I word this? I had a bit of a drunken rage on one of the, or a Facebook group that I helped to build. I went on and had a drunken rampage, not rampage, drunken rant on there. Awesome. And then sheepishly removed myself the next morning, really embarrassed, tail between my legs, Think wake, woke up thinking, Tell me I didn't just do that. Horrendous. So, if anyone's watching this who saw seeing that, I really apologise. Very embarrassed about that. And hopefully one day I'll grow the balls to go back on the group and, and apologise to, to certain people. You know, it's crazy, you know, when, when you're in the midst of everything that's going on and what you think's going on in your head and it just seems like the right idea at the time. It's like, yeah, I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna say that. And it's, it's completely booze fueled, it's ridiculous. Um, so that's been the biggest, cringiest moment of it so far. Um, where I am right now, um, I'm feeling pretty good, I'm feeling pretty strong. Um, again, I'm not going into it, but because of um, some life changes I've made and me, presuming that certain things were gonna happen um, and they, these things haven't happened, it's completely um, altered where I thought I was gonna be in my life right now. So I've had to, in the last month or so, I've had to make some more massive, <laughs> massive uh, decisions on my short-term future to um, keep me out of the hole, really. Um, bloody hard work being me at the moment. So, um, yeah, um, I've kind of, I'm getting focused now on, on some things coming up. Some exciting things coming up, hopefully, um, but also scary at the same time, which I'll talk about in future videos, hopefully. I just don't want to talk about that particularly right now. Um, one interesting thing I have done, um, which is very strange, while I've been going through all this shit and drinking, I, uh, I've quit smoking at the same time. <laughs> Very bizarre. Um, this is, you know, when you can use other addictions to play, well, or to help you beat another addiction. It's, it's very strange, but I know it's quite common. But um, yeah, while I was, because I knew where, I, sorry, I'm speaking, I'm not speaking any sense here. Because I have to be, I. in the next couple of weeks, I have to get myself into back where I need to be, where I'm feeling good about myself. So that's back, back on track with me eating, not smoking, not drinking, addiction free basically. Um, and then I can hopefully move on to this, this next stage of my journey. 
Um, and because I'm kind of on the timeline, because I'm kind of on the clock with it, um, I was like, all right, the one that I think I'm going to struggle with most mainly was the smoking. Now this was over two, two, this was two and a half weeks ago, so I wasn't actually drinking as bad then. It was just in between. So I chose, I chose the smoking one, so I just quit. And I'm about, I think about 17, 18 days into it. Which for me, that's that's the smoking gone now. Um, the smoking's not so much, uh, it doesn't feel addiction based to me. It's, 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 it's all habit smoking, um, which is good for me. I know other people who it's, it's a pure addiction for um, and they really struggle. Um, and luckily for me, with smoking, I'm not too bad with it. So that's great. I'm coming up for three weeks, so that's brilliant. But obviously, in order to do that, at the beginning, I let myself. I said to myself, "Well, you can you can eat what you want. You don't have to exercise. You can just say fuck it. Just get off the fags." Um, and I think I did that for about five or six days, um, more so with the food. I think it was drinking in between. Um, and then about six on the sixth day, it was like, "All oh, right, I feel good now." I'd, I'd six and seven, day six and seven, I'd stopped thinking about. It's kind of like I'd forgotten that I used to smoke, which is a great sign that you've, you're kind of there with it. So then I started to take control of my food because I was, I was, I was eating, I was eating lots. Of, it wasn't, I wasn't so much eating shit, but I was eating a lot more just so I didn't have hunger for the fags. So as I say, after day seven, I, I've, I got control, I got better control of the food and stuff. Um, drinking small amounts in between, and then I started to do a load of exercise. Last week I ended up walking, I think I put about 34 mile in, in the week on the canal, which was great, so getting my fitness back up. So I was, I was, I was, I'm, I'm building myself back up and getting back on track to where I want to be, but I was obviously still drinking on an evening. Um, and then you get to that stage where, right, enough's enough, I need to, you know, it's Groundhog Day, you wake up in the morning again, you go, right, this is what I'm going to do today, I'm going to eat this, I'm going to exercise, you're not smoking anymore, this is, oh, and you're not going to drink tonight. And then, lo and behold, it gets to, I don't know, 5, 6 p.m. in the evening, and you're like, well, I've done all this, I've had this great day, I've done this, you know, just go and get half a bottle, and that, you know, you'll be fine, you've earned it kind of thing. And so that's kind of where I've been at for the last week, maybe a week to 10 days. Um, and, I've, and I've used it to numb as well, um, for reasons I can't go into. Um, but it wasn't very often that I used alcohol to numb thoughts and feelings out. But I had I had done that today because I'd fallen out with a couple of people, which I shouldn't throw no fault of theirs um, from me, my uh, insecurities and and things like that. And um, I think I stepped up the drinking of the alcohol because of that, because I was using it to numb numb thoughts out, which was shit. So anyway, I had to come to terms with a lot of stuff in that period. So brings to brings us up to today. So as I say, I'm I'm off the fig, set fags about 17, 18 days. Food's back on track, I feel good, bit of exercise going in, I'm I'm feeling great. Despite how I look, I need an haircut and I'm growing a beard. I know that looks scruffy, but that's that doesn't reflect where I am. I'm just being lazy. Um and I say I'm about day, you know, I'm a day and a half sober. Um with no plans of drinking a day. And I just really need to concentrate and 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 get how important it is back in here of, of my sobriety. Uh, Cause that's kind of what I've lost. You know, um, when I was in, even when I, when I came off, when I did kind of relapse, although I didn't call it a relapse at the time, the sobriety counter wasn't important to me. Um, the 16 and a half months that I'd just done, it, it was like, well, you haven't lost it. But I think I need to, that's where I kind of am now. I do feel like I've lost it because, and I need to use, I need to get my sobriety counter going again. It's important that I rack up these days again and, and build that, get that snowball effect and build the momentum of, of my sobriety and see the numbers and enjoy the numbers again because you know I do. You know, and let's daft as it sounds. Let's let's get the next gets three days, five days, seven days, ten days. You know, and then your month and that, and then all of a sudden I'm kind of back on it. And I don't get me wrong. One 
really important thing to say is that um, there has been nothing positive about me drinking again. Nothing positive whatsoever. Health reasons, financial reasons, my brain fart reasons, been, been crap. Not one positive in it all. Um, and while I've been doing it, it never crossed my mind that I would sort of, or that I wanted to drink again. Um, the biggest, the biggest realization for me after going just short of seventeen months sober was, and and then drinking again, is just how crap alcohol makes you feel, and you don't need a lot of it. I'm talking about one drink when it you feel it, and it's when when you felt when you felt well for so long then you realise the ad adverse effects of what alcohol can do. Never mind if you drink more, because that just amplifies and gets gets worse and worse. Um, and just those little things like going to bed and not proper sleeping, waking up, knowing, you know, what did I do, what did I say, or just, not, just the fact that you drank the night before, and it's just that horrible feeling. So, I mean, just waking up this morning, you know, it was like... Obviously, I didn't drink yesterday, and it was just like waking up this morning. It's a hell of an improvement. Um, so I just need to keep that. So, although I'm telling myself I haven't really got much of a fight on my hands, and it's going to be okay. I think realistically, I've got a bit of a fight on my hands to get to get some some days under my belt and just just get back into that routine and 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 get that that broken thinking out of my head where maybe after four or five days going well. I, fuck it, you're done all right, you know, you're not craving it, have a, have a drink, that can't happen. And and given <laughs> more so where I'm bloody heading in my life and, and the things that I've had to put in place over the last month for my short-term future, which I'll talk about in future videos, um, I am in no position to, um, I, I have to get myself 100% back on track um, and get focused because I, I, I've got a lot on that I need to do in the future. So, sorry, I've rattled on last 17 and a half minutes. Um, once again, thanks for your comments from the last video. Um, it got a great response. Um, I need to make at one point a video about people in AA and how they talk to me. I get very frustrated and feel like I'm getting looked down upon. Uh, I had that in the group and on here. I don't want to go into a rant about AA. Um, but I, it's, I'll save this for another video. Um, I really do appreciate whatever system gets you sober or keeps you sober is absolutely awesome. But what works for you is not guaranteed to work for me. Um, but as I say, we'll, we'll talk about this in the future video. So again, thanks for watching. Um, if you've got any questions or comments, please leave them in the in below this video. Um, thank you. Bye.